know you have laugh because I'm shouting in front of my 550 students, so that I try to control, speak globally. Thank you for coming tonight, my student, also other comments. Especially I have to say big thank you to the Janet Toronto Film Museum Mount Denver to give me great such opportunity to have a show and talk. Catherine, have a great patient to work with me. I know she did a great job to make a problem to show. Also, my average patient students, you can say, they are the people who help me to do marketing, creative, Anyone know that one? 
It's not Pikachu. It is Pichu. See? Why? It's a sister of Pikachu. Pikachu represents the bar gold. So, we know about it. Alright? Also, you know the boy. No matter how Pikachu took, they have to fight. Okay, mom, we have to fight. Fight for what? To protect something. To protect you know, my horse from area. So, children drawing, no matter how, and what kind of character they draw, it's always story is fighting. Okay, they also, my favorite thing, he started to draw about the figure, but he found it. I don't know how to draw human figure, whatever. And then he had the one for story school. You know, you might be surprised how children have a great, you know, like a brain. We almost, you know, started to lose it. So they have such a, you know, skill to find some kind of substitute. Here you go. Using that anime character. So my husband is a naturalist. So he took my son to go out to be exploring nature. So he used a frog at that time, his favorite animal to represent. So I don't have to, you know, draw figure, human, but I can draw some kind of animal to represent about such a movement. Alright, and then my favorite friend, Anna. We are listening about cute penguin. Do you know which one is cute? Right. 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 Yes. Why would you say that? Big eye. Big eye, yes. I think that teaches. So everybody, like the children, notice how to create a cute face by making the big arm. And then And then he created penguin, penguin, and penguin. So for two years, you can see such a kind of newspaper. You can see the last time. The Alice penguin, the 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 or cool. So, using such a semiotic sign about creating a big heart, such you know, little boy already know how to create. So, this is influenced by what? So, this is my kind of conclusion. Also, you can see many drawings. This is more than 10 years ago I collected from Japan. Most boys draw like that. Looks like really Dragon Ball. Do you know the Dragon Ball? It's a very popular. So almost all boys copy and then such a cartoon by character. You know, it's interestingly in Japan, all the educators like me are now allowed to teach and encourage children to draw the comic style because we didn't want to encourage them to develop their skill, realistic way. But they don't care. <laughs> they draw whatever they like to draw. Okay, let's go. I'm going to skip it. And also, this is a girl's drawing. Well, so I was thinking, well, again, I don't see much comic influences over American children's drawing. I was collecting more than 2,000 drawings for four or five years. And I was starting to think, well, what's the differences between Japanese manga and American comic? Then I start to research about historical background. This is my big possible the origin of Japanese manga, 12th century. It's kind of scroll caricature. And then, how many of you know about Hokusai? Of course, right? So this is a typical Hokusai, 36 view of Mount Fuji. But how many of you know about Hokusai is a pretty much first artist? who start to use the form, manga. So this is Japanese character, manga. But at that time, when he did manga, it's not like a story manga. It is an illustration to teach his student as a history book. Okay. Isn't it wonderful? <coughs> Why are you kind of figure out the drawing? And there, you draw like this. <laughs> he teach, he teach to the student to observe carefully to capture the characteristic of facial expression. <laughs> well, then 
Mm, that is the 18th century. Then, I did not include today, but of course Japanese manga are highly influenced by American comic, Disney, after World War II. Then, we reach this stage. Okay, this is a great poster of the Janet Tono remaking a uh, print museum this time. It is created by the senior designer, and um, what is his name? Um, Emilio. And then he researched about this art. It is Japanese ghost comic. You can draw easily. So it's very sparkly, so many designs in it. So I started to you know, find out so many characteristics. One of the main characteristics is that manga is depicted mostly black and white, unlike American comic. So what's happened? So under the limitation, Japanese comic artists to be present about the story and also so many cultures, um, also ethnic differences. 